San Francisco 49ers defensive tackle Eric Armstead put big time respect on Javon Kinlaw's name, and rightfully so, because Javon Kinlaw has been playing phenomenally well through three games for the San Francisco 49ers. As you know, the former first round draft pick has been highly scrutinized over his time with the San Francisco 49ers, primarily due to health and availability. But listen to the way Eric Armstead breakdowns how Javon Kinlaw is balling, and on top of that, their relationship together, and how Javon Kinlaw is coming on in a very, very big way. I want to highlight Javon Kinlaw. My little homie has been balling, man. He's fourth in the league amongst defensive tackles for pressures with 10 this season. Man, he's been stopping the run. He's been rushing the passer. He's been playing phenomenal. And I really want to talk about, you know, our relationship. You know, when JK came as a rookie, um, I felt like it was my responsibility to, you know, pour everything I had into him and, you know, try to show him the way. And our our relationship has completely transformed, you know, throughout these years into motivating one another. You know, JK has always inspired me and I'm always inspiring him. And it's been a great relationship. Uh, I'm so excited to see his success this year, man. And he he brings his his physicality to our D line. He has a new he has a new element. You know me, Hargrave, Bose. You know we're kind of reserved, quiet dudes. But JK is bringing a different type of mentality to our D line. Man, we really have a third starting defensive tackle. JK is is not a backup. He can start on a lot of teams um, around this league. So bringing him in to to go after these Dolphins the lines. You know after me and Hargrave. You know already wearing them out, man. It's, it's it's tough. And he's going to continue to be dominant. I'm so excited for him um, and, and what this year is going to look like for him. It's going to be life-changing, man. Obviously, the San Francisco 49ers added Javon Hargrave, who has been a phenomenal addition next to Eric Armstead on the interior of this defensive line. But the fact you have Javon Kinlaw as a rotational defensive lineman is huge because as Eric Armstead discussed, the frontline guys are going to wear out the starting offensive line, and then you bring in these guys fresh to just take advantage of what the other guys have already set up. And also, too, what we heard after the game is that the 49ers defensive group, especially the defensive line, has been strongly advocating for five-man fronts or bare fronts, which allows all five defensive linemen to get man-on-man -man assignments. The biggest thing with the offensive line is they're trying to shift and get guys off into gaps and certain leverages so when you go man on across the board it's very challenging for offensive linemen and when they went five man fronts with Javon Kinlaw with Hargrave with Eric with Bosa with Cleveland or with Drake it made it really difficult for that New York Giants line and they all talked about it after the game I did a little lobbying to get those five-man fronts out there with Javon added in there to, to Steve Wilkes. Well, what was that process like to be able to convince him, and how rewarding was it to be able to get those five-man fronts there on third and long? It was great. Um, whenever something works, you don't want to change it. So uh, Javon was pretty adamant about it throughout the week uh, to get it called. And um, when you call it and it works, you you uh, you get it called a couple more times. I mean, it's five one-on-ones, you know what I'm saying? Let's have a party, you know what I'm saying? We all tell each other, meet me there, you know what I'm saying? So, How, how did that come about? Did, did Kasurik bring that up in camp? Or, or what was the I mean, sort of start of that? I don't really know. I just know it's working. <laughs> that's, that's so right. that's all I really know. Do you feel like that's helped you unlock your potential? It feels like, you know, you're getting, I mean, maybe three, five technique a little bit more outside and getting sort of outside one-on-ones. Do you feel like that's benefiting you as a player? I ain't really got no fire tech yet off the edge. No, I put me out there but anytime I get a one-on-one -on -one, I just try to do my part try to win you know try to just hold my end up at a rope you know shoot healthy so that plays a big part in it you know this team hasn't done a lot of like five man fronts on the defensive line before you got here it seems like it's working pretty well what do you like about that look I know it's a little similar to Philly probably what do you like about that look I mean it's all one-on-ones um, when anytime you can get one-on-ones all your defensive linemen it's, 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 it's fun do you feel like the offensive line is like sort of sign when they see that look? I don't know, but we'd be happy uh, when we get in that front. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see if we get more five-man fronts from this group to get more man-on-man -man from this defensive line. And if you get all five of those guys getting pressures, which Javon Kinlaw was, they were seeing more success. So Javon Kinlaw.
man, do not sleep. He has been having quietly a great start to the season. His pass rush win weight numbers have been up there. He is doing phenomenal things considering he is fully healthy for one of the first times in his entire career. Let me know what you think of Javon Kinlaw's performance throughout and what Eric Armstead had to say about him in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.